I grew up Palm Springs, North Palm Springs, where you can go out there, do you can find your Jerry Rices, you can find your, you know, your 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 next Jordans, you know, your next Kobe, LeBrons, like you can find them in that area. Like there's so much talent in that area in North Palm Springs, man, that went through there, but never made anything of themselves because because of the environment that we lived in. You know, it was a certain, like, way that, like, we had to, like, uh, you had to betray a certain image you had to betray, man. You know, you had to be tough. You had to be, you know, down, you know, with the group. And Here in the Coachella Valley or Palm Springs area, uh, you have a lot of kids that don't really have a lot of opportunities to do too much. The living is for the, for the rich around here. And if you're not rich or poor, there's no, there's hardly any in between. So these kids, they, they go up rough. My mom's out here, you know, following us because not 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 because she want to see what's going on just just so make sure you guys are okay you know nobody mess with you guys you know i was born and raised here man I, I love it out here but you know it's not like your typical you know golf courses or palm springs or whatever like that but we love it man it, it's this is home man you know it's relaxing it's it's comfortable and we know everybody around here man and growing up man it, you got to be tough in this neighborhood man because that's the that's the only way you can survive in something like this, man. Is either be be tough or be bullied. You know what I mean. So you know, growing up, I, I bully people around. I used to get in trouble a lot when I was uh, when I was in my early days. And when I was second grade, I got kicked out of school. I got ex got expelled out of school in second grade for fighting. And his dad's told me many stories about him. He said that he was always kind of a rascal. He, he liked to fight. He liked to do a lot of things. Uh, he had too much energy, and um, he brought him to the boxing ring just so he could lose some of that energy and uh it seemed like boxing and him were a perfect fit so i loved it i love love going to the gym just became a, a workaholic in the gym and you know i worked outside the gym at the gym and the rest is history man you know i was motivated i was just very motivated you know i found something that i really love to do and i stuck with it you know what i mean and i had good parents to to push me and keep me in that direction so you know that's the reason why i made it you know i had someone always on my behind you know and you know, with the other people, with the other people that, that, that are very talented, maybe their parents is not involved as much as my parents were. You know, maybe the kids are not motivated as much as I'm, but I'm telling you, man, like mentally, mentally you gotta have it in order to get up out of a place like this. I challenge Manny Pacquiao at 147 pounds. Manny, come break down this wall. Manny Pacquiao returns to the ring to face a bold challenge from the undefeated Timothy Bradley. Hard left hook by Bradley. Good right hand by Bradley. It's another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Will Bradley bring Pacquiao's incredible reign to an end? Or will Pacquiao continue his domination of boxing's elite? Pacquiao versus Bradley. Saturday, June 9th, live on pay-per-view. Contact your pay-per-view provider to order.